there is a category of ragas that is quite astonishing. This is the category of jod ragas. Jod means uh, to fuse, to combine, to connect. Jodna in Hindi means to, to join together. So a jod raga is a raga which is the result of two or more already prevalent ragas coming together, being brought together, infused together. Sometimes these constituent ragas may be completely different from each other. The sense, the swaras that are used in the two ragas may be a, a different set, you know. So it's, it's miraculous that what results from their coming together is another raga, very viable and sometimes very beautiful raga instead of cacophony. Um, and historically, Jod ragas is also one way that the repertoire of ragas has grown in Hindustani music. And I might also mention that this phenomenon is not found in Carnatic music. Perhaps the most famous Jod raga is Basant Bahar. Uh, this raga has in fact be in, been immortalized in a uh, Hindi movie of uh, the 1950s. Um, and the, the one of the most iconic songs in this film, which is in Basant Bahar, and uh, in fact that whole scene tells a, a possible story of how Basant Bahar, the Raga, came to be. So there is a music competition in a uh, royal court and um, uh, one musician is performing Raga Basant and our hero comes in uh, singing another composition, taking off from that Basant composition but in Basant Bahar. Now we do not know who created Basant Bahar. And in fact, we don't know who created many Jod Ragas, but they are certainly, they seem to be uh, the result of a musician thinking of the possibility of bringing two disparate Ragas, combining them and making a viable Raga out of it. Um, in fact, Jod Ragas challenge many aspects of our conception of Raga, but yet there they are, um, a very, very interesting set of ragas. And uh, they, these have a, a validity, uh, an interest value that, for instance, new scales don't have. Um, <clears throat> see, the Jod Raga, a Jod Raga might offer a seamless experience of uh, a new raga, you know, with personality drawn from two different ragas. So that there is no um, clashing as it were. There is one part of the raga draws from one part of the Jod raga, let us say the Purvanga, the Satupa, that is drawn from one of the constituent ragas and the Uttaranga, Patusa that moves the way of another raga. So here there is a clear separation and uh, yet, you know, in the Jod raga, of course, they come together and uh, we have this uh, seamless experience of um, a new raga, a Jod raga, but with uh, the personalities of these two constituent ragas uh, manifesting in different parts of the uh, Saptak. Uh, we also have Jod Ragas, as I said, which, which are the coming together of completely different Ragas, so that there is no integration of the two or more constituent Ragas into one seamless experience, but the, uh, the constituent Ragas move in and out of each other, crisscrossing, dazzling the listener with the myriad ways 
in which one can transition from one raga to another. So, in the two, the constituent ragas retain their personalities or retain their um, presence in the new Jod Raga so that you can clearly make out, okay, when the Jod Raga is being performed, that okay, here you can hear Basant, you can, there you can hear Bahar, that sort of thing. In fact, Basant Bahar is one such Raga where the two Ragas, Basant and Bahar, are discerned, can be heard separately in different parts of the uh, performance of the Raga. So, Basant Bahar brings together the Ragas, Basant and Bahar. Both of them are associated with spring and therefore Basant Bahar is doubly associated with spring. Mm. And as I said, both are very unlike each other. Um, if you were to talk about Mela, because that gives you the idea of the notes that are employed in the Ragas. Basant belongs to the Purvi That, whereas Bahar belongs to the Kafi That. Uh, if you must speak in terms of Swaras, Basant uses Ridha Komal, Bahar uses Ridha Shuddha, Basant uses Ma Tevra, Bahar uses Ma Shuddha, Basant uses Gani Shuddha, Bahar uses Gani Komal. It is another matter that Bahar also uses the Shuddhani. Basant also uses the Shuddhama, but they, uh, between the two ragas, they essentially all the twelve swaras are there. All the twelve, you know, this, uh, the seven plus five variants, all of them are there in this Jod raga. In this case, uh, one of the points of transition or moving from one raga to the other is the phrase Sama. <coughs> The Sa and Shuddhama, that uh, phrase is common to both Basant and Bahar. I'll demonstrate. So Basant is, so Basant is, This is Basant. Bahar. Sama Pagama Gamai Dani Sani Sani Pagama Pagama Completely different set of notes. But this Sama, this is common to both. In Basant, it goes like this Samaga Namadani Sani Baga Madhari Sani Baga Madhani Dapa Madhapa Maga Maga Samaga So from Ma you go to Shuddhaga which is the Gandhar of Basant. Bahar Samapagama. This is the way Sama occurs. There is a phrase in which it occurs. So when you yoke Basant and Bahar together, this is a very uh, obvious place to transition from the from one rag to another. So it will be like this. Madhari Sani the Sani the Baga Ma Sama Pagama. You have gone to Bahar. Gamani the Nisani Pa. But of course, that is not the only point of transition from one rack to another. There are 
then it's up to the musician really and that is the beauty of uh, jor ragas that it is really there's a great deal left to the performer to the musician to figure out how to bring the two together two or more ragas but usually it's two jor ragas is typically two sometimes we have more than two i just demonstrate a few ways in which basant bahar uh, basant el bahar is moving in and out it is a mar na de so already have gone to bahar sa ni pa ma ga basant again ma बहार जोड़ रागास ब्रिंग टूगेदर रागास दैट आर क्वाइट दैट मी शेयर स्वराज यू नो दैट दे आर नॉट कंप्लीटली डिस्परेट they don't use completely different sets of notes um kaunchi kanada is a very famous uh, in ancient it's an old uh, jor raga here it's a coming together of mal kaunts and uh, darbari kanada and it goes like this in fact here uh, the way kanada gandhar is used and the way they com- both of them have komal gandhar both mal kaunts and darbari have komal gandhar but the shruti is different and uh, it's uh, interesting to try to retain those shruti identities um shrimati kishori amonkar is particularly brilliant in handling this raga and if you get an opportunity please do listen to her kaunchi kanada uh, it's there on youtube i mean i will demonstrate kaunchi kanada for you um as i said they do have the two ragas are are not completely dissimilar in terms of the swaras they both use komal ga they both use komal dhavat and komal nishad so there is a lot of uh, overlap of the swaras at least not of course their bit their uh, shrutis or the phrases there there is a lot of difference <coughs> so phrase of malcons sa ga ma ga sa ga ni ni sa ga ra na ni sa sa ga ma dha ra ma ga ma ni दरबारी so when the two come together so here actually the it's more subtle uh, but as i said the two ragas do share uh, swara material so with how they come together uh, it is little more subtle than uh, it's subtle than basant bahar re 
ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದರ್ಬಾರಿ ಉಂಡಿ ದರ್ಬಾರಿ ಹಾಕಿ ರೀ ಮಾಲ್ ಕೌನ್ಸ್ ಡೋಸಲ್ ಹಾಕ್ ರೀ ರೀ ಸಾರಿ ಸದಿ ಸೋಟು ಮಾಲ್ ಕೌನ್ಸ್ ಮಿನಿ ಸಚ್ ರಾಗಸ್ ಕಾಫಿ ಕಾನಡ ಮಾಗೇಶ್ರೀ ಬಹಾರ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಸೋ ಆನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಟುಗೆದರ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ವಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಲುಕ್ ಫಾರ್ ಹೌ ದಿ ರೆಸ್ಪೆಕ್ಟಿವ್ ರಾಗಾಂಗಸ್ ಆರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಂಡಲ್ಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟೆಡ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಹೌ ದ ಮ್ಯೂಸಿಷನ್ ಎಂಗೇಜಸ್ ವಿತ್ ದಮ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಟಿವ್ಲಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಜೋಡ್ ರಾಗಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ವಿಚ್ ಆಸ್ ಎ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ the two ragas that comprise the jod raga are uh, confined to different parts of the octave as it were there is there is a uh, um, typical example of this is puriya kalyan um with puriya kalyan puriya is sa ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಪೂರ್ಯ ರೇ ಗಮ ದ ಗೇ ಗಮ ಗಿ ಗಂಡ್ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ರೀಟೈನ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಜೋಡ್ ರಾಕ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಪೂರ್ಯ ಕಲ್ಯಾಣ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಲ್ಯಾಣ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಯಮನ್ ಇಸ್ ರೀಟೈಲ್ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಹೈಯರ್ ಅಪ್ಪರ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ರಾಗ್ ಪೂರ್ಯ ಡಸ್ ಇನ್ ಅ ಪಂಚಮ್ ದಟ್ ದರ್ ಇಸ್ ಕಲ್ಯಾಣ್ ಡಸ್ ರೈಟ್ Puriya Kalyan does not use the Shuddha Rishabh that Kalyan uses. But it uses the Pancham that Puriya doesn't use. So that is how the two Ragas come together. And uh, This is almost Yamanish. Kalyan. Nimadasa Puriya Nirega Madhani Pa Yaman Madhani Pa That is Kalyan Yaman Kalyan You know, it's synonymous Maga Maga Puriya again Madhani Pa ಕಲ್ಯಾಣ ದೇರ 
<coughs> we will now listen to uh, a jod rag called hindol bahar this is the coming together of hindol and bahar typically uh, most of the jod ragas especially when they involve only two they have the names of the rest, the constituent ragas there are other ragas uh, where there are more than two in which case you know they have a different kind of name unlike uh, a new novel scale that you try to flesh a raga out of um, which may not be challenging at all because it's you know you have a free hand there there is there are no constraints that makes it far less interesting than a raga with a personality so um jod ragas are not like that at all because unlike the, you know trying to create a new raga out of a novel scale jod ragas are the coming together of two already established uh, ragas with well defined personalities and the challenge challenges really to bring them together artistically and convincingly um in some gharanas some styles of uh, khayal are really more uh, into presenting jod ragas than others for instance jaipur atrari jaipur gharana is famous for handling jod ragas um because um, perhaps you know, there is something about the style the the way they develop the raga the, the badhat the vistar of the raga which is more conducive to flitting in and out of ragas um uh, mm, jod ragas you know they defy mela completely especially something like basant bahar it's you can't possibly classify it under any mela because as i said it seems to use all the 12 it it does use uh, between bahar and basant all 12 swaras of the saptak are used so you can't really classify it under any mela it's just not possible but raganga does come in very useful here and in fact that is how jod ragas are handled through the ragangas of the constituent ragas um now uh, let us listen to an exposition of uh, a jod rag called hindol bahar typically uh, especially when there are only two constituent ragas the jod raga is uh, simply called after those two ragas like hindol bahar basant bahar kaushi kanada kafi bahar and so on uh, kafi kanada and so on um now hindol bahar is again um uh, the two ragas are very different hindol and bahar are very different ragas like basant and bahar and in this case in hindol bahar there isn't even a point which is an obvious place of transition not that you really need it because as i said even in basant bahar it's not as if transition happens only in that uh, common phrase it, it's not transition can happen anywhere between the two ragas hindol bahar uh, i will demonstrate hindol and bahar and then you can try and follow how the raga presentation 
brings the two together. Now, Hindol is actually one of the very few ragas that, you know, for practical purposes, there are only four uh, dominant swaras. Just Saga, Madha, these are the four notes. Ga and Dha, Shuddha, Ma, Estibra. But the Ni is present in the Ni from Sa to Dha. So, it goes like this. Ga, Madha, Sa, Dha, Ma, Ga, Ma, Ga, Ma, Sa. So, the four notes are Sa, Ga, Madha. But, when you come from Sa to Dha, Sa, Dha, Sa, Dha. So, there is a mean from Sa to Dha, the knee is used. Sa, Dha. No, we don't sing that way. Sa, Dha, Sa, Dha. Ma, Dha, Sa, Ma, Dha, Sa, Dha, Ma, Ga. Ga, Ma, Dha, Sa, Ma, Ga, Sa, Dha, Ma, Ga. Indo is an ancient rag, one of the uh, main you know, ragas in the Raga Ragari Pathati. Um, Bahar, as you know, Sama. Pai ga ma ga ma ni dha Dha ni sa ni pa Ma pa ga ma ni sa Let us listen to how these two ragas come together in the Jod Raga, Hindol Bahar.
Ah, ah, ah. 